Hi, welcome to a video tutorial from Robojax. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri. In this video, we are going to introduce a LoRa One development board called Kubecell from Heltec Automation. This is a low power and long range data communication device that is compatible with Arduino and we can program it. We can communicate between two points, controlling devices, sending information or data. This is HTCC AB01. Cell from Heltec Automation. They sponsored me and sent me this product for review. I'm going to show you how to get the documentation and code and library for this and also how to purchase this. I'm going to introduce the hardware and also I'm going to connect LED to each pen so we can control it one by one with Arduino so you know it's compatible and easy to use with Arduino. Then I'm going to set up two of this, one as a transmitter, one as a receiver, so we can send information and receive it and read it with the, with the other one using Arduino. You can get the code for this by clicking at the link below the video in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. This is HTCC AB01 Cell from Heltec Automation. They sponsored me and sent me this product for review. I'm going to introduce the hardware and also I'm going to connect LED to each pen so we can control it one by one with Arduino so you know it's compatible and easy to use with Arduino. Then I'm going to set up two of this, one as a transmitter, one as a receiver, so we can send information and receive it and read it with the, with the other one using Arduino. This is Heltech.org, the main page of their website. If you click on products, LoRa series, and Cubecell, Cubecell board. This is the product that we have. This is the LoRa Cubecell development module. They ship it like this. And the model that I have is this 915 megahertz based on the region that you select they will send you appropriate version. The antenna is already attached. They give you also these pen headers where you can solder them either this way or this way depending on how you want to use them. And also some sticker for the pens. They included also this battery cable where you will connect it in here to power it up via battery and also it will charge the battery as well. The cube cell is mainly for LoRa and LoRa 1 node applications. The module is AB01. The one that I'm using is AB01. It's based on ASR6051, model that is used either 6052, which is a programmable system on chip. So it has CE and FCC certification. This is for Europe and this is for the United States. It supports LoRa 1, 1.0.2. Also, it has onboard solar management, energy management system that can be connected to 5.5 to 7 volt solar panel. The connector is SH 1.25-2. This two means two pin and 2.5 is the space between the pins. We can also use AT commands with this. I will provide you the link to look at all those. Let's go to the main features and how we can use it. The module is powered with USB and we have a user switch here and we have a reset switch. The main chip is this cube cell. This is sold also separately because this is development board. We have all these pens available with this. And we have our RGB LED here that can be programmed based on different application. As you can see here, it blinks with different light. We have CP2102. This is a USB chip. We, you can program it directly. Then this is compatible with Arduino and it has tons of example. So I, I'm going to use a pair of this to demonstrate many applications. For example, 
we can send the temperature, voltage, or whatever you want from this module to this module. I'm going to show you all to suggest send the text. So instead of text, you can send the voltage or anything you want. And also, um, this, this can be used independently to read, for example, temperature uh, or use any other sensor that you use ordinarily with Arduino. The module can be operated with a uh, lithium battery where you can connect this to the connector and power this up. And also when you power it from USB, it can act as a charger, so it will charge your battery. The module comes with this external antenna, so you can attach and detach the antenna from this connector. We also have here a small LED, which will power up when you turn it on. And here, if we have a look at the pen diagram that is provided by the Heltic, uh, the pens that you see in this diagram are from this view. So this row on this side, I have to rotate it on this side. So these are the pens. Now, this is the analog to digital converter pen that is shown here. And then we have GPIO 1, 2, and 3, and they have been labeled, fortunately, as 1, 2, 3. So they are very easy. And the code, you just type GPIO 1 or 2 or 3. And then we have RXTX. These are for the serial communication. And then these are the three are in here. These are for the SPI communication. And then we have VN. This is a VN. And then the last one in here is ground. After ground, then this pen, it shows GPIO 6. This is a GPIO 6 in here. It has been labeled as 6, and I put here a pen header. And then GPIO 7 is here, this one, which can be used for battery test control and user button. The same user button here is connected to this pen. And these two pens, the GPIO number two and number three, are the pulse width modulation. One is pulse width modulation one, pulse width modulation two. And one good thing about Heltec uh, library is that you just type PWM2, and that's the pen. You don't have to worry about any other number, and also for GPIO. For all of these, these are very easy. So far that I've noticed, for analog to digital converter, also the pen, you just type ADC, and that refers to this pen. And on this side, which is this one, you see on the left side, which is this one, this is the reset switch, the last one here. And then we have GPIO 4, number 4, 5, and then 0. As you can see, 4, 5, 0. And then these two pens are SDA and SCL. SDA and then SCL. After that, we have a ground, GND pen, ground. Then V external. Th this is the pen to the same GPIO, pen number six. Then we here it says VDD, which is 3.3 volts. Here they labeled it as VDD. And then solar voltage, this is VS. This is for reading the solar voltage. And here they mentioned that this input can be between between 5.5 to 7 volts. And then after that, then we have a ground, this pen. About that device, I found some issue here with this antenna. When this rotates, this is a reset pen. And when it touches, you can see it turns off the device. So be careful. Let me just clip it so And now this is on. Now it's not touching. So make sure to take care of this. This should not be long. Now it's very short. Length of the module is 41.5 millimeters. The width is 22.8 millimeters without these switches. And of course, the depth without the connectors is 6.5 millimeters. And here on AliExpress, if you type CubeCell LoRa, and this is the Heltec Automation official. This is the official store on AliExpress. And here, and 
here are the options for the purchase so you can buy it from here as well i'll have separate video showing you how to measure let's say temperature and send it transmitted from one module to the other one with a longer range and distance Uh, let's open an example where we can control this RGB LED so one module can be used to demonstrate something and also you will learn how to use an example. Uh, click on file, examples and scroll down under, under cube cell board, RGB and here we have RGB. Put the code, let's just watch this. Once the code is uploaded, now as you can see this is a color, let me turn off the light, perhaps you will see better color. We need to pre prepare an LED with a resistor, the LED has two pins, the longer pin is positive or anode, the shorter pin is cathode, uh, to put a resistor between something like 300 to 1 kilo ohm so we have 5 volts goes through a resistor and then to diode uh, to the LED light emitting diode this is anode and the, the side that has line is cathode and it will be connected to ground now let me show you how to control or use each pin the GPIO opens and I've connected an LED which I'm turning it on and off right now it shows a GPIO is zero here and I've connected the red wire to GPIO 0. As you can see, this is now on. It's now on. Changed it to GPIO 1 uh, and connected it to pin 1. And the LED is now blinking. Now connected to GPIO 2. And I've changed this to 2. Now GPIO 3 and the pin is connected to pin 3. GPIO 4, it is connected to 4. GPIO 5 and the wire is connected to 5. GPIO 6 and the wire is connected to the GPIO 6 in here. Now GPIO 7, as you can see 7 is connected in here and also this LED will turn on and off because this is connected to the same pin. GPIO 6 is also to control the V external VEXT. Now here is a demonstration that we will define one of these as T transmitter or TX and this is RX or receiver we are going to send some text via this and then receive it in here so this is a very basic example I will have a lot of other videos related to this later on uh, please make sure to subscribe as I will have a lot of other videos for the other products for example for this wireless stick light Wi-Fi and BLE and this is a Wi-Fi BLE wireless stick this is stick light and also LoRa node 151 LED module and of course we will have video on the HTM02 Edge LoRa gateway first I'm going to connect the TX or transmitter and let's load the code uh, so first Let's go to File, Example, and scroll down under the Heltec. In here, go to LoRa, Basic, and then Sender, LoRa Sender. This is the code that we are opening. To work with this, first we have to set our uh, communication port. Go to Tool, make sure the board is selected. If not, go to Board, and then scroll down to Heltec. And then here, select CubeCell HTCC AB01. Once that is selected, then that from here we will select the region, the frequency, the, the one that you bought. In US and Canada, we have 915 MHz standard. That's the module that I have. If you have something else, select that. The rest, we don't need any setting. Then go to the COM port and make sure that the port that you have is selected. Now I will leave the, this in here. Now we have to launch another instance of Arduino. This is very important, otherwise you will not be able to open the serial monitor. So open on, by clicking a new uh, instance 
I'm opening it. Now this will allow you to select another port. I have separate video explaining and showing how to have two different serial monitors for two different ports. And now I'm going to connect the receiver. The receiver is now connected. The board is selected except the port. Now port 6 is not, that's port 21. So I've selected it. Now let's go to file, example, and then open LoRa, LoRa basic and receiver. So this is my sender on the right side and the receiver is on the left side. All the settings are correct. Do not change it. Just select the frequency. Mine is 915 megahertz. So we have 915 and we have six zeros. The rest we do not change. Absolutely nothing. And the same thing for the transmitter, for the sender. Same thing, select the frequency. The rest, we don't change anything. This is the text that we are sending. This is just printing it on the screen, but actually send is done this line. So we are sending it as an integer. So this will be converted. Uh, this is by reference, and then we are converting them to integer, and this is the length that we are sending. So when you use the radio.send, we create one, uh, one, this is one parameter that is the actual text. Uh, and then comma, we have to also to send the length of the data that you are sending. And that's it. Same thing for the receiver. Every time the loop goes, it just reads it and it receives from memory. It says memory copy. It gets a packet from the payload with the size that we have. And then, and this is printing the actual packet uh, in this line. So this is just printing. This is the strength of the signal. And that is the size of the text that it receives. Plot this code to the receiver. The same thing for the transmitter because there are different uh, USB ports. Here these are on. So let's open the receiver serial uh, monitor. And then that transmitter serial monitor. So this is, it says sending, hello world, and that's the number. And here we are receiving it. The same number that you see here is shown there. So here I sh I'm showing you side by side, and that's the transmitter on this side. Red, the transmitter has sent separately via antenna, and the receiver received it, and here it displays it. And here, when you want to send your own text at this line inside a quotation, put your text like that. For example, RoboJax test this, it shows RoboJax text. And as you can see here, the strength of the signal shows minus one four. So this way you can send your own text. And here is an example of using this as a transmitter, this is a receiver, and I'm using a push button here to send signal to turn this LED on. And it shows that signal received, the LED or the load, whatever you want, you turn it on wirelessly and then press again or turn off. So I'm just toggling it. Because this needs a lot of explanation, I will have separate video on that. I'm gonna show you how to control an LED and also control a relay with the same method. Thank you for watching a Laura tutorial by RoboJax. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, please post it in the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. And make sure to subscribe as I will have a lot of other videos related to this topic.
And now here for potentiometer, the right and left pen has been connected here to. And this is the voltage in millivolts. Voltage in volts. Right now it shows 2 millivolts. And I can rotate it 125 millivolts or 9. 1.1. 1 .1. 